Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. My name is Peter Loshek. I went three and one yesterday. One of those winners was an underdog. So uh, back in, back to uh, to uh, to maybe a pattern of winning days, and uh, hopefully I will uh, I'll be able to uh, continue that and uh, come out positive on the week. Of course, still positive on the years. And of course, uh, football. We're chugging along. I've given a couple of uh, NFL and uh, and uh, college football and CFL picks as well this week, and going to try to uh, give as many as I can until you know with with as much uh, with as much time. As I have. And, uh, just before we get mm-hmm. into it, everything, the, today's, I mean, not, today's not the last day to sign up. Today's the last day to sign up to get the most out of the beat the bag contest to give you the best shot of winning that $25,000. Uh, yeah, the football the football game tonight, look, it's the Pats against KC. We've seen this matchup many times over the over the years. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, I haven't looked into it deeply, but I gave it a once over. And uh, as of right now, I have no pick on it, no bet on it. Uh, I'm passing on it. Uh, you know, if you gave me a free bet right now, as I sit right here, I'd probably take the over at 48 and a half did i did throw in the under in the in the uh, pittsburgh cleveland game that's one of my official picks because this week uh, i'll admit you know i can admit when uh, when uh, when i'm you know behind right now i'm behind i'm freaking well i'm not behind i'm behind on where i would like to be you know what i mean sure. i haven't done my deep dive into all of the uh, college football games and i haven't done my deep dive into all the nfl games that i would like to uh, to do it and uh, and a fucking uh, a, a milf invited me out on friday night and i probably am gonna have to say no you know what i mean these are the sacrifices i make and this this mm-hmm. this, this is a this is a kind of milf that i like you know, i uh she big girl she's 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 thick she's not big but she's thick all yeah. right that's yeah. good so i think you should attend this I yeah, think that I you could. Know. I think you could take a Friday night off and happen. I have the Saturday morning show to do with uh, with uh, Jeff from Big Man, and we have to cover the whole uh, college football card. I don't want to sit there and have uh, Jeff saying like, uh, you know, yeah, Ohio State this and that, and have my response be, uh, yeah. I mean, those are good points, Jeff. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I was out with a milf last night, and uh, I don't really know. Yeah, Ohio State's great. Good points, Jeff. And uh, fuck if I know. Next game. I don't know. We could pull the audience. I think that they would have, they would like that, especially if you had a mill sitting on your lap. You know, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be prepared. You know what I mean? I, the people have come to expect a certain level of preparedness and in-depth um, analysis from me that, that that I like to deliver. You know, video in and video out. You know what I mean? I don't know. I was thinking different in and out game. <laughs> I mean, like like Eddie Van Halen. How did he get to be Eddie Van Halen? Because he he didn't go out on, when he was in high school. He just sat in his room and practiced. You know, every day, every night, every weekend. And that's why I want to be the, the Eddie Van Halen, the John Petrucci, the Gigi Allen of sports betting handicapping. And uh, I'm on my way, but I can't, I can't shirk. You know what I mean? All right. Hey, no, I, I appreciate that. But yeah. yeah, I'd be like to be the Gigi Allen of thick milk. So. <laughs> yeah, in progress, say Pete likes them thick. What a surprise. Yeah, I do, I do like them. I like them real. Good. I like them big. Big and thick and all that stuff. All right, so let's go over the uh, the uh, MLB uh, the MLB card today. Uh, let's see. All right, so and in the Colorado Dodgers game, I mean Kershaw was awesome in his first start back. Probably going to be awesome again here. But the Dodgers, unbelievable, losing again to Arizona. Each game in that series, I, I kept on saying I was like, I don't have the, the balls to bet it mm-hmm. or pull the trigger on it. But Arizona looks like they have value as an underdog, and each game they won. And each game again, you were like, all right, well, this is probably the game where the Dodgers are going to win. Well, you had to do that last week with the Padres, right? Yes, and I didn't have the ball. <laughs> it was the Dodgers also. Yeah. There, well, th- th- there have been six games in a row where the Dodgers have been a huge favorite. Each game, I said I thought there was value betting against them. And each game, I lacked the balls to actually give it as a pick or bet it. Unbelievable, right? And it's so funny because I remember th- there's this one guy who uh, was a uh, professional uh, ML, uh, MLB a handicapper. Actually, I don't know if I can say his name. He's on the forum and he talks about it all the time. Named Mr. X, and uh, he's been. You he, don't know he, if you could say his name, and his name is Mr. X. Yeah, yeah. I used to talk to him about it. He had a model that was successful, and he said that half of his bets he couldn't believe his model was recommending for him to bet, and he had to, he like felt sick betting them. He's saying that his model, his he knew his model was right, and his model would spit out value. And he was just like he was just like man. I, if I didn't have this model, there's no way in hell I would come up with the, with half of the picks that I come up with. And yeah, he was he was probably fading the Dodgers all six of those games, and uh, probably won with them. You gotta have action. You gotta be a man of action in life. I am sure. not a man of action. I am a man of excuses and complaints. Omaha eighty eight saying Syracuse minus eight and a half football. 
and I talked about this uh, earlier in the week, and the totals actually jumped. If I had to make a play on this game, and I didn't bet yet, but I would be looking at the uh, Syracuse team total over. I think the surest bet on this game is that Syracuse is going to have a big offensive day. I'm also thinking about Indiana minus three. Uh, obviously, uh, Virginia is at some point going to uh, improve significantly uh, under Mendenhall, but I'm not quite seeing it right now. Slate of picks. And again, on Saturday morning in my show with uh, with uh, Big Man, I will uh, I will very clearly review and recap all the picks that I've given, but I've definitely given uh, 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 Iowa State. Uh, Northwestern, and now I have officially added Indiana minus three. I wish I just didn't need as much sleep. I'm, one of the, I'm a long sleeper genetically. I, I do a lot of research on genetics and the biology of sleep. You know, there's a 1% of the population that only needs three hours of sleep, and the czar in Russia used to... Are you one of those people? I, yeah, well, I'm not dead yet, so I've been doing it for like... Well, I was talking to Drew about this the other day because I'm trying to stop doing it, in fact. Well, I think after like 20 years, it started to catch up to me. No, I mean, if you were able to... You know, if you're if, if I did it for, for for two weeks, I would be a friggin' zombie and a, and, a, and an emotional wreck. Yeah, I uh, sleep from about two to six. Oh my god, you're one of you're, that's genetic, motherfucker. <laughs> it's great, man. You, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, it's great, <laughs> man. Jesus Christ, that you don't understand. Like sleep, and it's not that I people are like, oh, it's so great that you sleep so much. No, I don't want to. I'm just sitting there crunching college football numbers, and then I'm just like wiped out, and I and I literally like can't stay awake. And it's not like a positive. I wish I was like God, dude. If I if I were like you, if I had your if I had that gene, I'd be Billy Walters right now. I would be Billy Walters right now. I'd be like the greatest handicapper because I have the handicapping chops. I just don't have the uh, friggin' uh, friggin' biology to uh, stay awake and concentrate as much as I need to. And then in the NFL, the only real pick I have right, I did bet the under fifty and a half a bit in the uh, Chicago Atlanta game. And uh, the only other play I have is the under forty-seven and a half, which I think is now forty-seven in the Pittsburgh um, in the Pittsburgh Cleveland game. And, uh, and 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 that's it. And of course, in the CFL, I already gave it out: Ottawa minus twelve and Winnipeg minus two. It is a lot of points for Ottawa, but it's a tough spot for uh, Hamilton. Jansen Bonzone, Pete, it takes a lot to offend me. Really? Okay. What if I said, "Hey, go fuck yourself"? Would that offend you? No, it probably wouldn't. Probably wouldn't. Although I said it cool, right? Hey. Go fuck yourself. Does that offend you, Jansen Bonzone? No. All right, excellent. Yes, Jansen Bonzone. I'm glad that, that you were not offended. Juan White. Here we go. Juan White. Thursday night over. Usually hit weeks one through eight. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. No. Uh -oh. I, I like. Yeah. See, I don't even care now. I like stats like that. Right. Yes. Yes. Juan White. Thank you for that. Uh, for that. Uh, I mean, I was. I wasn't aware of that specific stat, but I would. That was the general feeling I had in my head. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. All right. So that's about it. That's about it. Uh, just two picks in baseball today. Neither one of them I'm loving, but both of them I think are okay. Cincinnati, first five innings, over two, team total, minus 147. And White Sox, first five innings, team total, under one and a half, minus 141, 149. Just two picks in MLB today. A bunch of picks in uh, college football that I'll have on Saturday. I did add Indiana, minus three to my official slate. Uh, NFL, definitely interesting. No official play on the Thursday night card. All right, that's about it. Uh, we'll look for uh, look for the uh, UFC 215 uh, preview that I'll be doing with Andreas Hale later today. That'll come out. That should be interesting and great. Andreas Hale, of course, supremely knowledgeable in all things uh, MMA, and uh, we'll be doing that one. Great show again, guys. Thanks for all your comments and thoughts, and we'll be back uh, tomorrow for the uh, for the Friday card.